Hi, I'm Jesse from Nova Quark. Welcome to Dual Universe. What you're about to see are the first live gameplay footage of Dual Universe. And I want to stress right away that this is not the final game. This is still pre-alpha, and I would even say pre-alpha tech demo. Uh, we still have lots of uh, work to do on the gameplay, on the UI, the FX, etc. So, uh, yet we have some solid ground on the technology side on which uh, this gameplay is actually going to be built. And I would like to show you uh, some of the key features that we advertise in the E3 uh, teaser. And, and many of you had you know, questions whether this was uh, real, whether this was uh, true, actually. So, well, it is true. Uh, and I want to show you exactly how it is at the moment in this pre-alpha live demo. So let's go. Uh, I'm working now in this uh, forest, as you can see all around us. This is all procedurally generated. That means that there's an algorithm that is actually uh, planting all those trees and, and things that you see on the ground. Um, so this is part of uh, the way we create planets. There will be uh, more about that in, in uh, future videos. Uh, but for the moment, let's just run out of this forest to this clearing where there is a ship waiting for us. Uh, the ship that you saw in the teaser, actually, to go to this space station. So this, this thing is uh, absolutely huge. We moved it uh, closer to the planet so you could see it uh, better. Uh, it's actually eight kilometers long, so this, this beast is, uh, is a real monster. Uh, before I go to the ship, uh, let me just take a, a few minutes to show you something we didn't have time to show in the teaser, actually, which is the capability to uh, edit the, the planet itself. So uh, here, as you can see, I'm using this uh, tool to dig some uh, matter out of the ground. So basically this is about mining. Uh, you can see down there that there's a sort of a copper source that I just uh, uh, found here. Uh, symmetrically, I can also put matter on the ground or anywhere I want, uh, as you can see here. Uh, I could use other shapes, not only uh, uh, spheres, but also cubes in a more Minecraft-like uh, style. Uh, and I could actually uh, use some uh, dedicated tools that uh, we are going to demonstrate uh, in details in another video. I'll just give you a taste of it so you have an idea of what, what kind of things will be possible. So here, for example, I select a surface, here another surface, and boom, it's going to connect them uh, like that. So this is just uh, you know a, a taste of, of how things are done. Uh, there will be a dedicated video, especially on how you can actually uh, use these tools to uh, build uh, ships and, and structures that can be as large as, as this uh, space station, which is uh, made with the same uh, voxel technology. So more about that later. So let's go to the ship. So the ship, by the way, uh, as I said, is just also a mix of voxels. You see all this gray area. Uh, let me just, uh, uh, for example, edit it by adding uh, whatever, that for example. Uh, so this can actually be modified freely, uh, adding some uh, whatever, uh, you know, content on it, uh, on the voxel side. But you also have those things that we call elements that I'm highlighting right now, that are basically functional parts that you can add to the voxel structure to give your construct some uh, functionalities, like an engine, a radar, a weapon, or a cockpit. Uh, or, and then you will be able to script all those things together to define the behavior of your uh, construct. So again, there will be more about that in dedicated videos. For now, let's, ju let's, let's just step inside the ship and get to this space station. Here we go, inside the ship, taking altitude, a bit of speed and here we go on the way up there so uh, as you can see there's continuous uh, transition from planet to space uh, as you saw in the in the trailer uh, one word about the UI uh, you know that you see just in front of me this is just a placeholder uh, what we have in mind uh, ultimately at the end is that you can customize this UI the way you like uh, by having uh, uh, widgets that corresponds to different elements that you have in your ship, so you know the active part. Um, and so that you can actually define what you're going to see and, and script all those things using Lua and all those uh, things we mentioned uh, in our dev blogs. Uh, so please have a look at that. Again, there will be more videos about this as soon as the feature is, is ready. So I'm, I'm taking a bit of speed now, getting up there to this tower you see on my left. I will actually try to land on top of it. Uh, so uh, I'm not a super good pilot, so I, I clearly need practicing 
it's not so easy. Uh, we, we have in mind actually to be able to uh, define some uh, automatic landing gear. So you have like a docking uh, unit on the space station, another one on your ship, and then boom, you can actually say, uh, just make me land and the system is going to actually land you. Uh, for the moment, I'm doing it by hand. So here we go, whoops, wrong side. Let me just reconnect here and let's go here on top of the space station. So this is basically where we go. Uh, we're gonna land just next to those ships over there and I'm going to get inside the space station. That's the, the idea. So here we go, landing. Oops. Yeah, I think I just collided with the ship behind me. It's okay. Uh, good, fine. So I'm on the space station and you see this thing is huge. Uh, I'm just in a small part of it. Uh, I can, again, as I said, uh, completely edit it any way I want. So here I put a cube, another cube here. You get the idea. I can dig a, a hole in it. So this is this is not a static mesh. This is again like the planet, completely editable. Uh, I can also you know put some some cockpit if I want to do it. It doesn't make any sense or anything. These are elements that I can place anywhere I want uh, on the space station to uh, add functionality to it. Okay, so let's go now uh, inside it. Uh, we go inside this corridor. Uh, so this is made out of voxels. Uh, I mean, the, the hole for the corridor is made out of voxels. But what you see around you are just elements. Uh, we call them decorative elements because those are not doing anything particular. They are just uh, used to make nice looking corridors. You could do everything with voxels, actually. You don't need to, to do that. It's just a functionality we had, as you can see, so that people can customize uh, with sci-fi looking things. And we're now entering a control room which is uh, sort of a gigantic place uh, that, that you can build. So this is, this is not uh, predefined. This is completely, again, made of voxels and elements. All these screens and so on are elements that you can place 3D. For example, here, you know, this, this seat is an element. Uh, this uh, screen over there is another element. Uh, this uh, here. So uh, this is completely customizable. Uh, Again, I mean, what you see on the screen are just placeholders at the moment. Uh, we have the same idea, like for the ship, you know, that what you can see on these screens will be actually things that corresponds to uh, active elements in your ship, like showing uh, the amount of uh, energy left, uh, the containers uh, 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 capacity, uh, the docking request, and all sorts of things that will uh, be tied to the management of a control um, of, a, of a space station in a control room. So let's have a look at the planet that we just uh, come from. Um, it's it's kind of nice. Uh, you see down there, there is the, um, the, the, the arc ship. Uh, that is the ship we saw at the very beginning. Uh, and you see anything that is big enough to be uh, visible from space will be visible from space. So if you have a huge city or any, any big structure that you build there uh, will be visible from space. Um, okay, so that's it for now. Uh, I'm going to actually uh, go into uh, what we call God mode. So this is not actually available uh, in, the, in the game itself, uh, but it's to actually give you uh, a view around to show you a bit more of the space environment uh, that we have. Uh, I hope you like this little tour of Dual Universe. Um, again, keep in mind that this is just a pre-alpha tech demo. Uh, we, we, we still have a lot of things to do on the gameplay again, but we have those technologies to edit the world, um, to create shapes or structures of any size, plus the fact that you know everybody is going to play in the same world at the same time, a single server. Uh, that, that is what we call the continuous single shot cluster, and that we will demonstrate in another uh, video soon. Um, so I think these technologies can profoundly change uh, you know, the MMO gameplay experience. Uh, it's all about emergent gameplay. Uh, we give you the tools to build anything you want. Uh, structures, uh, political structures also, economy, uh, uh, territories, etc. Uh, it's, a, it's a gigantic uh, sandbox uh, universe that is persistent and never stops. So, uh, I'm going to conclude on this. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Please have a look at our community website, forum, Facebook, Twitter, etc. We would really love to have your feedback. I hope you liked uh, what you saw. 
Uh, bye bye and talk to you soon again in Dual Universe.